Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris. Today I am going to be showing you a game from the market. It's called Word Game and it's by Craig Hart. Now this game is sort of, uh, I guess, very reminiscent of, I guess, like Scrabble or those types of games. Um, they give you a word and you have to, uh, a string of letters and you have to make a word out of it. So it sounds pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, but highly, highly addictive. So once you get started, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to stop and it's definitely a good time killer if you're like stuck on a bus or maybe jury duty or whatnot. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys my review on it. So check it out. Okay, so let's take a look at Word Game. And this is Word Game by Craig Hart. The developer is Craig Hart. Now you get a few little options here at the start. You can start a new game, of course. You can see your high scores, statistics, I guess what other people played, uh, different couple of options you can select from. Um, vibrate, sound effects, um, show possible words. You can make it harder on yourself if you're uh, really good at the word games. Uh, there's a practice mode, but I think you have to buy the full version. You do have an ad here at the top. So we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. Now, you will notice there is a little timer here at the top and it's clicking down. So you do have a limited amount of time to basically make a word. So this is a list of words they give you. And here at the bottom, this is, I guess, your uh, reservoir or the different words you can, uh, letters you can switch in and out. So say you can't make anything. Um, I'm horrible at word games. You just go ahead and click the little X and it'll swap it out and it'll with the, the next up letter, and we'll build a new one. So uh, the harder it is, or basically every letter is assigned a numerical value for your point score. So if you use some of the harder letters like Z, I don't even know what I can, oh, let me try to spell zit. This is gonna be a whopper. Oh, come on. And submit word. Zit. Yes. Oh, snap. Okay, so it does. The guy comes out and says yes. Um, he sounded just about as excited as I was to, to make that word. Um, yeah, and you just keep going until you uh, get a really good high score before the timer clicks or runs out. Uh, I'm not really good with this, so I'm going to say... Va 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 uh, uh. Oh gosh, I have no idea. I'm just gonna... Is that a real word? Tell me if it's a word, come on. Oh, yeah, I guess not. Man, it makes me feel bad about myself. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's a pretty straightforward design. Uh, I think this one is really, really fun. I'm not too good at word games and stuff like this, but uh, I think a lot of people will really, really enjoy this. Um, of course, I believe if you buy the full version, you won't have to the add there at the top, but um, great job. Craig Hart did a really, really great job. Uh, the design, I guess, is just pretty... Uh, pretty simple, nothing really too extravagant or crazy, no backgrounds or anything, but I don't think it really needs to be. It's just a good time waster. So if you're ever on a bus or maybe have a few minutes between classes, I think this would be a great, great app for you. All right, so that was my review on Word Game by Craig Hart. Um, you can pick it up in the market right now if you're into, uh, I guess, those types of uh, brain puzzling, teasing, uh, word type, Scrabble-esque games. Uh, even if you're not, uh, if you're like me and uh, maybe aren't too too good at words, them words, uh, it was still really, really, really fun and a pretty good time killer and time waster, especially if you're um, maybe on lunch break or just need to kill a, a quick minute or two. So um, check it out. I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys.